Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Mark 7.5 Volkswagen Golf. So stay tuned for this video. So as you can see, this is a 2019 model, the Mark 7 Golf, or Mark 7.5 to be specific. This includes the new front face, we've got new headlights with LEDs, daytime run lights at the bottom. We've got a new lower bumper and we've got the Blue Motion grille. This is a 1.5 litre petrol and the Blue Motion technology is what BMW promote and call their cars with like the start-stop system and more energy efficient. We've got the blue stripe going across the front of the grill here. The car's finished in this lovely kind of, I don't know the exact name, but it's like a silvery kind of gold colour. I want to kind of say it's like a cashmere kind of colour, it's lovely. At the front and the alloys, we've got new alloy designs. These are 16 inch. And you can see the kind of a five spoke with little secondary spokes, and there are diamond cuts, a little bit dirty, but. Apologies about that as a courtesy car. Continuing on with the Mark 7 Golf, we've got the badging in the side. I've got a GTD, and you can get GTD, GTI, R, whatever Golf you've got. We'll see it in the side here and the front fender. We've got electric wing mirrors. Pretty much said the car hasn't changed too much. We've got the sharp creases along the side of the car. Work the way around to the black, and that's where the difference is a lot more noticeable. We've got new tail lights, so we've kind of got the dual lines going across there. Same golf badge placement. Down below, we've got fake exhaust tips, which are current in the car industry. Whole new rear bumper. Now, a quick look at the boot space. The facelift hasn't changed anything about the boot space, so still got your spare wheel underneath. Same big flat load area that the Golf's known for, easy, low lip, wide usable space. They've got tie down hooks, they've got a power outlet on the right hand side, they've got your ski hatch in the middle, which you can be operated by pushing that through. A car of many talents. Again in the back, things haven't changed for the facelift. The seat material is a little bit different, and in comparison to other trim lines, this is just a standard SE, so no funky <laughs> designs in the Tartan or Alcantara in this trim. There's plenty of mean headroom, which is a Golf is known for, a practical family car. That box of shape means there's plenty of headroom, I'm just under six foot. Plenty of headroom, plenty of knee room set up for my driving position. You can sit two abreast comfortably. And for a kind of high transmission thump, it's going to be tough to get three adults, so you probably get three kids up back here. And just point a note that material quality back here, it seems up front, so that means you get some soft padding door sills, and quality handles, quality plastics. A little bit scratch at the top there, but not too bad for a back family car. We'll take, a we'll take a look into the interior now and we've got the same door covering as you get in the Mark 7 Golf. Your electric operated wing mirrors here to rotate that knob as so. Door locks all around the electric windows with child lock lockout. Again, size quality materials. Door bins are aligned with the fuzzy stuff so your keys and bottles aren't rattling around, which is quite nice. And the, this being the SE trim, we do have lumbar support. So just pull that down and you can see the lumbar there going in and out. We've got a twist for seat adjustment, and again, you can raise and lower the seat by pulling this lever. Stay 
step into the cabin and the sound deadening in the Volkswagen Golf is apparent. Down the right hand side here is a wee handy storage area where you can maybe keep coins or cards or things you'd use commonly. Again on your lights it controls similar to the other golfs, just there for automatic and you can pull out for your fogs. This car doesn't have keyless go unfortunately, so switch blade key, key in the ignition and turn to start it up. We've got a nice rather lap steering wheel, free spot design, gloss back detailing in the centre there. Similar to the My Mark 7 Golf, we've got the left hand side, it sorts out your cruise control, you can change the distance if you want it early, late, etc. And your adaptive cruise control, you can cycle through if you just want it to be a speed limiter or actual cruise control. On the right hand side here, it allows you to control things through the centre display, so things like speed, fuel gauge, temperature miles per gallon range, etc. So that's handy. And again, you can go through, by toggling on the right there, you can go through things if you had sat nav in this car. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that. Certain features can be displayed inside the LCD screen. In the center here, we've got Volkswagen's new system. So this is a fast responsive radio system. Again, as I said, this car doesn't have sat nav, but It's a little bit faster than the previous system, and it does come with Apple CarPlay and Motherlink. Down below is where you've got your air conditioning, climate control, fan speeds, temperature, where you want to angle the air. Blank buttons mean blank buttons. Sorry, mean we've not got the heated seats in this car. A little bit of storage down there, and that continues over from the Mark Seven for your USB. And it's other import. Down here we've got your drive modes. A little bit of a different graphic from the Mark 7. So the Mark 7 half has updated graphics. So eco modes if you want to lower your throttle spots, increase your MPG and build in drive experience, but probably handy if you're doing a long distance. Motorway cruise and normal mode and then sport and then individual allows you to tailor things so we can go through there. There you go steering, you can make sport. Drive you could have in sport. That's a cruise control you can have in sport, <laughs> and then there's not many two options on the SE trim, but there we go. This car has a six speed manual gearbox, all the way down and back for reverse, parking sensors pop up, and then you can go first all the way through to six. Nice smooth action. The car also comes with auto hold and electronic parking brake. This little feature here allows you to expose and hide your cup holders, which really classes up and simplifies the design. We've got a movable armrest that's standard in the golf range, and it's like back and back and forth, and has infinite adjustability. The overall cabin of the car is of high quality, as you can see, soft touch, rubberized. We've got a nicely damped glove box with lines of the fuzzy stuff. That's where you put your SD cards for the sat nav. And as I said, mentioned in the back, seat material again is okay for an SE trim, nothing special or anything exciting going on, but a little bit of bolstering just to hold you in. But overall, nice car, nice quality seats, and I've also got a little bit of sun visor holder up here, around the rubber stuff so your sunglasses aren't going to rattle about. So we've got your dome lights up here, little easy bulbs to turn everything on and off, and again if you want to turn the just rear ones on for your rear passengers exiting into your vehicle, you can. Nice and simple to do. Forgot to point out, we have got isofix and points at the back there if it focuses in. Those little tabs lift up, pull out, and you've got the exposed anchors for the isofix. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that short video on the Volkswagen Golf Mark 7.5. If you've liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel below for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!